Hey guys, and welcome to The Vegan View. I'm Danny. I'm Nisha. I'm Nicole. I'm Hannah. And this is The, the Vegan, Vegan View. View. Cheers! In today's show, we're going to be talking about how to make vegan friends, because it can be really hard, especially when you're making a huge life change, like going vegan, to find friends who understand you and support you. So, have you guys, what was your experience with that? I thought I didn't need vegan friends when I first started I don't need friends. <laughs> I was like, it's fine, I have great friends, whatever. And then I started realizing as I got exposed to like YouTube, and I saw all these people with these amazing vegan friends going on these like vegan dinner dates mm -hmm. and trying vegan ice creams, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I what that. am I missing out? <laughs> yeah. I need in my life. When I first went vegan, I actually I feel like I was very naive about it and immediately told everybody, I'm going <laughs> vegan now. I told all my friends, my family, and I thought everyone was gonna be like, cool, that's awesome. Tell me more about it. I don't know why I thought that. I think I didn't say And they were all like, You're gonna die. And I was like, what? And like I, I had a pretty negative reaction from most people in my life, not Aww. all. Um, no. you know, I think they're coming from a place of just not understanding veganism. I don't think it was like intentional or anything, but it caused me to then feel very like alone because I was like, I feel so strongly about this. I'm so excited about it. I feel like when I made that decision, I was on cloud nine and then to go tell like the people closest to me and have them kind of be like, what, ew, why are you mm -hmm. doing that? Was kind of like, it left me feeling very isolated. I think that when you first go vegan, you start doing so much research and like, you feel like you're like reborn. You're like, oh my gosh, like, <laughs> how did I not know this? That is so you know, yeah, after yeah, yeah. Your family. yeah. Seriously, you're like, oh my gosh, like this is so eye-opening and you're so passionate about it. And it's like consuming your life. And you think mm -hmm. telling people they're going to be like, Oh my gosh, yeah, I tell me more. Yeah. <laughs> but then, and then in reality, they're like, please stop. No. Yeah. <laughs> but then like, yeah, when you can't share this thing that you're so passionate about oh with God. anyone, it's like kind of sad and it's hard. So I know when I met you guys, it was like, like a breath of fresh air. I was like, oh my gosh, like you guys get it. And like, literally I can talk to you guys about like everything that I'm thinking about life. And I don't know, I feel like we're like, we know what you're talking we're about. We're like on the same page. Yeah, on the same page because we like share that like core belief. Yeah. Exactly. I remember feeling like, I, well, I was definitely the only vegan that I knew in real life. I definitely watched a lot of YouTube before I was going vegan. And so I knew that there were vegans out there and I knew that I kind of felt like I could be friends or related with vegans, but I actually didn't have anyone in my real life who I could talk about it with or go get food with or like who just got me in that way. And I remember feeling like, oh, this is kind of strange. So I moved to, I, I went vegan while I was living in Florida and then I moved out here. And the first thing I did was I joined a meetup group, which is something I've never done, mm -hmm. but um, I was a really big fan of Mr. and Mrs. Vegan. Yeah. And I would watch their channels and got all this information about veganism and Alex, host or used to host a event called vegan drinks in Santa Monica and so I went and I didn't know anyone I went totally by myself but I was just like okay if I could at least just talk to Mrs. Vegan or something like she would get me and it would be like my first vegan friend and I met people that night that I'm still friends with to this day and like I feel like it was just kind of a chain reaction to mm -hmm. just get your foot into the door of the community and then people were like so nice yeah. and it wasn't scary at all I, I mean it was at first but then once you're there people are like oh hey cool what's up and you don't just have to talk about being vegan all the time too that's what I think people think is going to be yeah the situation and we do a lot yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember I just graduated college and I was sitting in my apartment and I was like I had not watched YouTube I didn't watch YouTube I didn't have like an Instagram that was vegan centric mm -hmm. at all. And I literally Googled how to find vegan friends. <laughs> and the meetup app came up and I just searched by city and then there was the vegan drinks, which is Mr. and Mrs. Vegan meetup and happy, healthy vegans, uh, fruit luck. I didn't know who they were. And I went there and I saw just like these people, like I met, um, Jasmine, sweet, simple vegan, mm -hmm. Amanda from apples and Amanda's and all these other people that I'm still friends with to this day. It's so scary to push yourself and to do new things, especially to meet new people. It's like being a child again yeah. and not knowing anyone. Why is it the older you get, the harder it is? Yeah. The more intimidating it is. It's so hard to meet new people because you're so used to being so sure of yourself. And then to put yourself in that vulnerable position, mm -hmm. it is 
very frightening, but I did it and I was so incredibly proud of myself. I think that that's a good point is like putting yourself out of your comfort zone because that we would none of us would have met if we, we wouldn't have done that. Yeah. So the first person I met was Nicole and you emailed me <laughs> <laughs> just random and I was like, she was like, oh, like I'd love to talk to you about veganism or something. And I was, I interviewed you. I forgot yeah. about that. This is something I never do, but I think I had just gone vegan and I really wanted to make vegan friends. And she like sent me her channel and I watched her videos and like she seems cool. She seems like someone I could be friends with. And I was just like, do you want to get lunch sometime? Like I <laughs> never do that. Like I'm so shy. All my friends I've known since high school. So that was like such a huge, like outside my comfort zone. And I'm so glad I did that. Well, I had no idea. I was like, yeah, sure, <laughs> yeah. totally. She does stuff like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but it just goes to show like so much of that is in your head. Yeah. Like you're like, oh, I would never do that. But then when you do it, people are like, yeah, cool, totally. Yeah. yeah. And then we I'm went so to this Montanea dinner together, which that was also like so nerve wracking for me because I had just met her one time before that. We went to the Montanea together and then we sat across from Hannah. Mm -hmm. And that's how we became friends. And then <laughs> I just was like, <laughs> I had, a, so I had just started my YouTube channel and I think it was like, I had done it for three months. Danny just wrote in the comment section, Hey, do you want to hang out? And I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd never do this. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I no, I never <laughs> had. And I messaged her back and I, or I commented back. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I feel I like you were so weirded out at first. I kept like trying to like pursue her like, we can film a video together. And, stuff like and I was like, you want to come to my house? And I just invited a stranger from the internet to my house. <laughs> really weird girl. <laughs> I would not recommend that. Yeah. <laughs> but it worked out. I mean, like, look at us now. Yeah, but now we're all friends. I just, I think now I'm so, because of that experience, I'm so comfortable with just messaging someone on Instagram being like, hey, where do you live? Do you want to go get food? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And most vegans will say yeah. <laughs> and especially, I always tell these people, hashtag like Louisiana vegans, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like Texas vegans, Houston vegans. Follow those vegans, message them, and hang out because hanging out with vegan friends is so like life affirming. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's everybody should have that experience. Like, mm -hmm. and, and the way I met you guys also was again getting out of my comfort zone completely because. I, that spontaneous dinner, I have a friend who cook, does the cooking and like puts it on and stuff. And I was telling my boyfriend, Jesse, we should go, we should like meet vegan people. And he's like, no, like, I don't want to meet <laughs> vegan people. Like, he just like did not want to go. And I was like, come on, we have to. Like, I was so desperate for vegan friends. And I was like, even if we don't make friends, like, it'll be nice to like have a nice dinner with other vegans for the night. Like, there's nothing bad that could come of it. Ended up sitting across from these two, and they're like, "Yeah, we do YouTube." And I was like, "What?" They're vlogging. <laughs> I'm like, they're yeah. vlogging, and I was like, "Oh, I also like started my YouTube channel, and I have a blog." And we literally just talked about blogging and YouTubing and Instagram and veganism the yeah. whole night. It was like the best night ever. And then I was like, I didn't know if I was ever gonna see you guys again. But I was like, we should hang out sometime. <laughs> yeah. I felt like we were immediately friends though. When yeah, we like I didn't feel like we were never gonna see you again. I was it's like, oh, we're friends now. Crazy. Yeah, we're friends. It's kind of like, I don't know if anyone goes to church, but it's kind of like going to church yes, and have yeah. the same moral mm -hmm. vibrations or like standing on certain things or yeah. beliefs. Mm -hmm. And when you have something that is so true to your core beliefs and you share it with other people mm -hmm. and they're like in the same life stage as you, mm -hmm. like you're going to be friends. Yeah. yeah. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. And the thing is too, is it's going to take you getting out of your comfort zone to find these people. It just has to happen because we don't live in a vegan mm -hmm. world. There is no vegan church that you can go to yeah. and like meet vegans. Like you have to pursue them. You have to find them on yes. meetup groups or like, oh <laughs> <laughs> um, find them on meetup groups, find them through Instagram, message them, YouTube, whatever it yeah. is. You kind of have to like put yourself out there and actively find those people and it's not as scary as it seems. What would you guys say for people who live in really small towns where they don't have the meetup is not like a common thing? What about like internet groups or that kind oh, of thing? Facebook groups. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say like even like an online community is, is so nice. <laughs> Actually that reminds me, we have a Facebook group uh, that we started called The Vegan View and we'd love if you guys would come join us there and leave comments, send us pictures of your vegan friends, your vegan gangs. 
And yeah, join and subscribe. We're gonna do some, we were talking about doing some live videos on there too. Yeah, so. we can all share recipes yeah. and like vegan finds and stuff like that. It's gonna be like a really fun little community. Information hub of friends yes. and cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and definitely comment the cities you guys are in and see if there's some public places you guys can meet up yeah. and find your own vegan gang of people. I love yeah. that. Yeah. That would be fun. Cool. So where are some other places besides the Vegan View Facebook page, which we hope you guys will totally join? Where are, what are some other places that people can meet friends? Well, when I started looking for vegan friends, I used the Meetup app. They also have a website called meetup.com. Also, if online isn't your thing, don't be afraid to go out to people in person. Like if you're in a yoga class or at a vegetarian restaurant and you see someone has like a vegan shirt on or something, go say hi, introduce yourself. I think that's what we were talking about earlier, that it can be really scary, but it actually might be a little less scary for some people who are a little bit weirded out by the internet and like mm -hmm. the prospect of not actually mm -hmm. knowing the person. This way you can just strike up a conversation and if it clicks, it clicks. If not, try again another time. And that's mm -hmm. like something you guys can always keep in mind too. I think it's good to have the mindset of like, I'm open, I'm open to meeting new people yeah. and know that because you have this cool thing going on that people are going to be attracted to what you have to say and be, they're going to want to know you and be confident in that too, you know? I know when I didn't have any vegan friends and I was kind of like not telling anyone I was vegan and just kind of casually not eating meat, dairy, and eggs in front of my friends, I really thought and tried to convince myself that I didn't need to put myself out there and find people who believed in the same things as me because it was so scary to me to put myself in a place of unknowing because especially I moved to California from Texas and I didn't have any friends here when I first moved out and I didn't want to be back in that space mm -hmm. but when you put yourself in a space where you are uncomfortable and vulnerable you can grow the most from it. Yeah. And look, I have all these cool friends now. Yeah. And you guys have us. That's something I always say in the comments, yeah. right? You guys have us. If you guys don't have any vegan friends around you, you have the internet and we we are here for you. You can leave comments. Yeah. We love talking to you guys. And yeah. again, on our Facebook page, it's going to be a great place for you to meet other vegans and also hang out with us. Yeah. We'll be your friends. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Vegan View. Make sure you check out all of our channels for more vegan content. I have them all linked in the description box. And we are also on Instagram if you guys want to follow us on there. And we will see you guys next week, next Monday, for another episode of The Vegan View. Bye! Bye.